It's part of a creative endeavor I was doing while I was on my break. I was making fake album covers. Like, check it. And I was doing it because um, I've also been using Wikipedia a lot. Check it. This is the fake. This is the first fake album cover I did. Oh, it's showing. This is the first one I did. Port Nash. Don't no, don't insert fire emojis. We don't do fire emojis here. Yeah, this is the first fake album cover I did. Port Nash, negative outlook. Because I was getting big into Wikipedia at the time. I dedicated myself every day to learn a new thing on a Wikipedia article. I'll just generate a random one. And I thought, alright, let me just combine a bunch of stuff. So what I did is um I generated a random Wikipedia. Hard as in cool. Okay. I'm assuming that's more like TikTok language. But thanks. Yeah, I generate a random Wikipedia article. That's the band name. And then go to wiki quotes, generate a random quote, and then whatever part of that quote looks cool or whatnot, that's the album name. And then in the Wikipedia Commons where they have indexed images, generate a random image, and that's the album cover. You can put them all together, and that's your album. It was a, it was a nice creative thing to do because I was already using Wikipedia to like learn stuff. So I made this one, and then I made a second one. Right here. Pseudo Phoenix back to Rembrandt. Yeah, th yeah, these are all real images on Wikipedia. That that first image, this one, this is uh, this is based off this image right here, which is a telescope in like Spain or something. Oh, good lord! This load time. Yeah, but yeah, this is a, I think it's a telescope. De Roque de los Muchachos in Spain. Once this loads, then the information will load. No, it didn't. Okay, no, it didn't. But um, oh yeah, for and for this first image, I got the album name from this. Uh, this article, Port Nash, and Port Nash and Gen, which is um, a townland in Ireland. But of course, since the full, the full name wasn't good enough, I just took Port Nash because that sounded pretty cool. That was the band name, and then the album name I got from a quote by Gordon B. Hinckley, where he says, "Right here." There's nothing that dulls a personality so much as a negative outlook. And that, that phrase right there sounds pretty cool. Negative outlook. That's the album name. And then went to Wikipedia Commons, got that image of the telescope. There's your album. And for that other one I made, the Pseudo Phoenix was based off this one. Pseudo Phoenix Serengeti. It's a Florida cherry palm, you know, and then that was the band name. The album name was here, a quote from Jack Levine. My goal, not to go back to Rembrandt, but to bring the great tradition of whatever is great about it up to date. And that seemed like a pretty good phrase right there, back to Rembrandt. And then the image is this one. Eglis Vitrol something. How do you... Oh, media viewer, here it is. Yeah, it's some like glass and some like church or whatever. And yeah, that's yeah, that's what I've been doing also during my break, just making random album covers with, with the Wikipedia stuff. Also, just to show it off, I'm going to do one right now. Make one on the spot here with 
the lads in the chat. Okay, so first, Wikipedia, English, random article, Edwin Mayfield, that's kind of good, that'd be something else, pornography in the United States. <laughs> Oh, that, that almost sounds like a cool band name, but it's almost like too long. Pornography has existed since the origins of the United States and has become more readily accessible in the 21st century. Advanced by the technological development, it has gone from heart to heart back alley item beginning in 1969 to being more available in the country and later starting in the 1990s. Interesting. That's a title track? Oh, it could be. I want something that's like that's better. Nikki Zavella. The name sounds kind of fancy. You know, I use that one. Screw it. Alright, Nikki Zavella, that's the band name. And then we'll go to Wikipedia. Uh Wiki quotes. Random quotes. I'm very articulate when I want to be. You want to talk to me. Crazy things have happened on the road. Actually, that's pretty good right there. You want to talk to me as an album name? I'll take that. And then go to uh, Wikipedia Commons. Random image. That one's terrible. Looks like a Greek Bible. Oh, a nice sunflower. Is it? Yeah, it's a sunflower. Mm. I kind of like it. Actually, if if the next couple ones aren't cool, I'll use the sunflower. That's no. Nope. Maybe. I'll use this one because this looks like it could be Nikki herself. Alright. So then download the image. Would you rather spend a year on Mars in a spaceship designed by Ocean Gates or suck a 14 inch dick every day for four years? Uh, spaceship to Mars. Because that way I, don't, I want the suck dick. Okay. Also, I started using GIMP image editor. Because using MS Paint, you only do so much. And like before you have to start like doing too much to do something very simple. So I just switched to using GIMP. Right, let me see if I can do this like on the spot. Okay, I want to make a album cover. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Uh, two, three, ten. No, I have to make them square because the average album cover is square. Let's move this to. Right there, that's pretty good. All right, the band name was what again? Or the artist Nikki Zavella. Oop. Gonna blow that up to three hundred. Or wait, first select it. And three hundred. Gotta pick a cool font, so I'm gonna just pick V. No. B. 
Nope. J. J. Mm. Also, dude, I tried learning how to make an outline in GIMP. That is actually way more complicated. I can make a... Wait, I, wait, I can just do this in Sony Vegas. What am I doing? Sony Vegas is my bread and butter. What am I using GIMP for? I make music in Sony Vegas. I make my videos in Sony Vegas. I make everything in Sony Vegas. What am I doing with GIMP? All right. Uh, retry. Take two. All right, here we go. Import. Yeah. I've used Sony Vegas for, man, years now. Yeah, it, this is my bread and butter. Here we go. I resize to a square, 1080 by 1080. Nope, come on. Save it just in case. I don't know. Effects. And three zero. Three zero one zero. There we go. Include all of her right there. All right, then add in. Also, this is the first time I ever showcased even a little bit of my editing skills. I'm not even really editing, it's just Photoshop. First time ever showcasing it. You're seeing the skills of a professional. Alright, Nikki Zavala. I'm gonna pick a random font. It's pretty good. Oop, that's wing <laughs> it's wingdings. Okay, here we go. Reduce font thirty-five. Are you streaming tomorrow? Yes, but it'll be a it'll be a normal stream. Working. Although luckily, chat, I, I didn't I haven't said this because eh, I am extremely close to finally saving up a year's worth of expenses so I can finally do full time streaming for a year. I am super close. I'm only like a couple hundred dollars away. So very, very close. To finally becoming full time streamer, Dolomet. Uh, maybe you're out of outline. No, need the outline. Color it blue. Make this. Oh, here we go. Pink, yeah. And then place this over here. Yeah, then the grind starts. Doing at least at least the content would be varied. If I was like if I was only doing short streams of Mario Party 2, I would go crazy. Like definitely get burnt out of Mario Party. Like I, I need to mix in this variety stuff in between. You know, do a little bit of Wordle, do some, you know, NES ROM hacks, uh do like a, maybe a tier list here and there, and then I can like keep a healthy balance of everything. Okay, maybe 27. Yeah. All right. We can just assume that this woman is Nikki herself. And then the album name is, you want to talk to me, question mark? Oh my God, I can't select it. There we go. All right, then some new text. Twenty-two, twenty-six. I, I, guess, I guess just to keep it consistent. We'll just pick the same outline color. So I type a green thing and then text color. What font did I use? Yuli Supply of Fairy Cakes. That's the actual name of the font I used. I just picked it randomly. All 
Now, now I want to do it from the actual source. 22. A few more weeks or months until you go full time. It'll be f maybe months just to be safe. So that way I can save up enough. Because I bought some like stupid old mic that is apparently even more crap in this headset thing. So maybe a month so I can make up the cost for that. I don't have merch, so you can't buy any. Do you do you do you actually have stuff? For the, you never verified that to me. I know you, I know you have no incentive to like lie to me to like try to get my address because it's not like a cool thing. Like, oh hey 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 everyone look, I got the address of this random Mario Party two speedrunner. It's send over pizzas and prostitutes to his house. Like it's like no one's really gonna care. You you got it. But I'd be a full pattern if I didn't do my due diligence in verifying information. If, send me a photo and or video of the stuff to prove it. I know you have no reason to lie to me, but again, I'd be a fool if I didn't do my due diligence. All right. And now here is the final thing. Here's my new album, man. Nikki Zavala. You want to talk to me? And that's how I do it. It's just, an, it's just a nice, stupid thing I do sometimes.